Look, I think there's probably three main sources for us. One is that um, crimes and, and particularly the prosecution of them have always appeared in newspapers since, uh, since they started publication in Australia in 1803. So there's a lot of stuff about crime in the newspapers, very good, um, particularly in the 19th and early 20th century. Um, you know, people didn't have television. <laughs> they sat around the campfire or in their hut and they read the newspapers and the very extensive reporting of crime. Uh, a second source, of course, is the documentation of, of um, prosecutions themselves made out by the court. And there are various kinds of records that are produced by the clerk who's sitting in the court who has to take down the offence and the verdict and the sentence. Um, or the police who's sitting in the police station and is copying out the, the depositions, the evidence that's given by a, uh, witnesses uh, to a crime event. Um, so there's all those materials and they're stored in state archives in Australia. Uh, and a third very important source is that um, police forces in Australia from the middle of the 19th century started to publish for their own internal use um, gazettes of information that document what crimes have occurred, um, uh, what uh, stuff has been uh, pinched and might show up in a, in a, a pawn shop or something. Um, or crime events, um, uh, advertisements for missing persons, um, people released from prison that the police might be expected to look out for to say they're not committing crime again. So those police gazettes are extremely important as well. You know, a, a crime events that's described like, a, you know, a murder or a, you know, highway robbery or a theft, uh, you know, that's just the definition of the crime. What we don't know is why that happened and what's the background of the person who committed the crime and, and what's the characteristics of the victim of the crime and um, what um, this range of sources that we have available helps us to fill out as the, the larger picture, not just the legal offence and, and its processing through a court, but the whole social context of a criminal event. And, the, uh, and as you were alluding to, you know, sometimes the silences um, around um, the nature of the offence, uh, which impede our understanding, and, and it's an important part of historical research to, to excavate um, the, the various meanings that are available around a particular event that you can get by looking at different sources.